the last topic in price elasticity of demand factors impacting the price elasticity first availability of substitutes now how does availability of substitutes affect price elasticity of demand now the commodities whose substitutes are available for example let's say tea the substitute for it is the substitute for it is coffee again we take pepsi the substitute for it is coke or we can take let's say maruti car the substitute for it will be a hyundai car now how do the substitutes the existence of substitute affect the price elasticity of demand now what happens is when the price of the commodity being considered is reduced the people who are consuming the substitutes let's say people consuming the coffee or people consuming coke or people buying hyundai car shift to the considered commodity that is the tea or pepsi or the maruti car conversely when you raise the price of the commodity being considered when you raise the price what happens is people who are existing consumers who consume the considered product that is tea or pepsi or maruti car in our case will now shift to the substitutes because they find it cheaper so what happens is because of availability of substitutes the elasticity of that product becomes elastic because demand changes rapidly with respect to change in price so we can conclude that commodities having substitutes commodities having substitutes how is their elasticity it is elastic however if we talk about commodities not having substitutes the elasticity would be inelastic now commodities which do not have substitutes would be salt milk electricity these are the commodities which do not have substitutes now what happens even when the rates of electricity are raised since we do not have any other substitutes we have to necessarily consume electricity only we cannot change the consumption pattern same is the case with milk or salt in such cases the elasticity remains in elastic next position in consumers wallet position in consumers wallet it also depends whether the commodity that is being considered has a bigger share in the total expenses of the consumer or it forms part only of a smaller fraction of the total expenditure of the consumer's wallet if the expenditure incurred on the commodity is small is fraction is a smaller fraction then what happens the elasticity remains in elastic now take for example matchsticks take for example buttons now these are the commodities which do not form part of the 
bigger fraction of consumers wallet bigger fraction of the consumers budget bigger fraction of the consumers expenditure so the elasticity in case of such items with form part only of a smaller fraction is always in elastic However, if we consider those items which form a major chunk of the consumer's wallet, which form a major chunk of the consumer's expenditure, the elasticity on such items is elastic. The demand is elastic in case of such items. Let's take TV for example. Let's take car for example. A change in price. even a smaller change in price will change the consumption pattern a rise in price of tvs or a rise in price of cars might make the consumer refrain from buying any more tvs or cars so demand in case of those items which do not form part of which do not form a big part of consumer's wallet is inelastic however those items which form part of a big fraction of the consumer's wallet is elastic next needs it satisfies now needs can be roughly bifurcated into two types first is necessities the other is luxuries now in case of necessities a change in price does not bring about a change in the consumption of necessities we do not change the quantity consumed of that commodity because it is a necessity we need to consume it even if the price is increased we still continue to consume it we've already taken this example earlier salt now salt is a necessity even if the price is rise we do not increase the consumption or even when the prices fall we do not increase the consumption so we can conclude that in case of necessities demand is always inelastic it is inelastic but take luxuries for example acs tvs diamond ring what happens in these cases whenever the prices rise we tend to consume more of such goods because this is an exception to the law of demand so when the price would rise we will consume more but what is happening a change in price is bringing about a change in the quantity demanded so we can say the demand for luxuries is always elastic the demand for luxuries is always elastic the examples of necessities would be salt petrol the demand for luxuries would be diamond ac next point number of users elasticity of price is all is also dependent upon the number of users a commodity has now take example of electricity take example of milk now electricity has n number of users it can be used in industries it can be used at home even at homes it has 
multiple uses it can be used for running acs it can be used for running microwaves or our cookers it can be used for lighting our houses it can be used for running fans so electricity has multiple uses likewise milk also has multiple uses milk is used for drinking milk is always used for making sweets milk is also used for making cottage cheese now what happens in the cases where there are multiple uses of the commodity the demand is inelastic the commodity has multiple uses the demand is inelastic however if the commodity has only one use single use the demand would be elastic next point time period now it also depends upon how much time are we considering a short run will generally give us a lesser elastic demand however a longer run will give us a more elastic demand because in short run it takes time for the people to adjust to the change for example if the prices of petrol are increased people will tend to commute less by cars and scooters however in the longer run they might all together purchase vehicles having a greater mileage so in the long run people can adjust but in the shorter run people cannot adjust that fast so in the short run the elasticity of demand is generally inelastic or we can say it is less elastic but in the longer run it is more elastic next point consumer habit now consumer habits also determine the price elasticity of demand let's say in an area consumers are used to using cars of a particular brand or toothbrush of a particular brand or paste toothpaste of a particular brand now what will happen is even if the prices of that toothpaste or car are increased people will not stop buying that toothpaste or the car because they are used to using their product they are brand loyal so a change in price might not have a significant effect on the demand but let's say consumers are indifferent it doesn't matter to them as to which as to which brand they are using or which brand they are consuming that means it does not matter to them if they are using colgate toothpaste or pepsodent toothpaste so when the prices of the colgate toothpaste are increased people may switch to pepsodent so in that case the demand will become elastic in habitual products we have in elastic demand however 
in case of non habitual products we have elastic demand next point is tide demand what is tide demand we already done this in our earlier video tide demand is also called as derived demand what is derived demand derived demand is the demand for a product which is which is derived from some other product it does not have its autonomous demand it does not have its independent demand for example the demand for sugar is derived by the demand of tea people having tea will always require sugar but sugar per se will not have its demand because people do not consume sugar directly so the demand for sugar will always be derived from some other product likewise the demand for bricks is always derived from the demand for houses if the demand for houses increases the demand for bricks will also increase and so is the case otherwise so when the products have a tight demand it does not matter if their prices rise or decrease because people will still consume even if the prices of sugar rise people will not stop consuming sugar in tea or if the prices of sugar declines people will not start consuming more of sugar in the tea so we can conclude here that the products or the commodities or the items having tight demand the products have tight demand the demand for them is inelastic but if the products have autonomous or independent demand then the demand for such products would be elastic next point price range now this point is almost similar to the point that we have done earlier costly products will have elastic demand if products fall into a higher price range the demand for them would be elastic we have already discussed this point but if the products fall into a smaller price range what happens the demand for them is inelastic so this brings us to the end to the topic price elasticity